another haul video. So last weekend I went to Toys R Us and I got a bunch of stuff for custom dolls as well as I just got in a ton of packages on Amazon. So I want to show you guys what I got. I also got some stuff for crafting and I got some more pipe cleaners to make more hangers because this is my last one. So I was going to show you guys what I got. So I'm just gonna go over like everything I haven't opened yet. Like I got the Be Fabulous Barbie Fashionista doll for some of the clothes. So that's already been opened, so I got that. And I got the Vava Violet number 18 original. Um, I'm going to put a different head on her. I got her mainly for her boots for Mari and possibly the top maybe. I might include like another outfit with the Mari doll if she ever wanted to change it, but I already have like an outfit set aside. Um, in my head at least, of what I'm going to be putting her in. But yeah, this is the, um, one of the dolls that I got. I'm going to put her on a made to move body and wash her hair, possibly style it. I want to do like, sort of like a wavy style, because like the short wavy style is so pretty. So yeah, I got this girl. I've had this one for a while, but I'm just, I have this giant bag of stuff and I'm just going to show you everything. <laughs> got a ton of fashion packs today from Amazon. Let me see if I'm missing anything. Oh, missed one. But I got these little denim shorts with rose tights. Super cute. And I got this pack. It's like a coat and then these adorable little like pink and red shoes and this purse. I love like rainy day style, like really cute raincoats. And there's another one in here. Where is it? This one another raincoat in here this one's an older one because you can see the Barbie life in the dream house version um, I just I love these coats they're just so pretty they like seem so sleek and stylish so I had to include a couple for my custom doll got this dress a lot of these are gonna be older fashion packs just because I found them on Amazon and they were there but I love this dress I love dresses and fancy shoes if I could dress like Barbie every day like in these outfits I totally would but unfortunately, I can't, so I do this instead. Got this romper with these boots. I'm planning on painting either the boots or the socks. I might paint the boots actually like a darker brown. Like I might dry paint them. Um, I still need to get some paints because a lot of mine have gone bad. But yeah, I got this adorable little floral romper. I got these. It's a peplum top and jeans. I love nice pretty jeans and these ballet flats and purse this adorable like woven crop top and it's got like lace on the sleeves in the back there because it's folded this was adorable online and i just had to get it because it's something i would actually wear and lastly i got this fashion pack from the shiba juku girls you have no idea how long it took me to find this on Amazon and it was the last one I've been going to every Target I possibly could for like a week looking for these and I could only find like the schoolgirl outfit and um, one of the Suki outfits I think this is another Suki I don't know who this goes to I don't know anything about Shiba Jugu girls really but I saw this jacket and I was like this would be perfect for Mari Cause there was another one that was like totally multicolored and stuff and it was like a bomber jacket but it came on a doll and I didn't want to pay 40 bucks for the doll for the sake of just having the jacket so I have the fashion pack instead so I would suggest if you want to get some of these hold off and go to Target because I had to go on Amazon for this because I've been looking for it for so long $16 they're originally 10 at Target so just stick to Target I swear for my Vava Violet made to move I got the um, I don't know if they call this one the blue one or if they call the redheaded one the blue one but anyway I got the darker blue made to move body hopefully it's a skin match I didn't have the other doll with me it should be a good skin match so hopefully this one works. You guys have seen this one before. This is the made to move that's gonna be me. Very exciting. Made to move body swap for Mari and the Mari base doll. Also got the game developer Barbie for all of her accessories and clothes. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I kind of like her face, 
Don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know. If you guys want to see me turn this one into a made to move, let me know. Finally found, this was the last one in the store, the made to move skateboarder. She's absolutely adorable. I love her face. It's beautiful. And I love her outfit. And I figured she could be like a fun friend for my custom doll. Got the yellow made to move Barbie to body swap with this one because I love her face, I love her eyes, and just she's adorable. I do want to do a made to move of her just because she's so pretty. Let's see, what else have we got in here? I got a copper fabric pen to do um, my doll's hair recoloring. Like, it's already red, but I'm gonna do like a little bit of black in it, wash that out quickly so it darkens the hair, and then add the copper in so it can kind of match mine a little better. Some more sparkly pipe cleaners. Hopefully these still work as well, if not maybe better than the cloth ones, because these don't have all that like excess fur and stuff that'll come off of the clothes potentially, so these should work great. I got this giant pack of paint brushes. It's like, I don't even know how many brushes are in here, but I got this for $5 at Beverly's, which is a smoking deal for all the different brushes you get. And I'm gonna be like repainting, like I'm gonna be repainting this for Mari. I'm gonna be repainting some of the shoes and the eyes. So this is gonna be perfect because there's a bunch of small tip brushes and there's a bunch of like finer detail brushes and sponge brushes, so this is awesome and for five bucks yes please and the rest in here should be fashion packs let me move that over so we've got i've been passing by this one online and in store forever so i had to get it i love the shorts love the kimono and the top and just everything but this is the original size they have a curvy one as well so just know which one you're getting um the shoes are different in each pack so if you're getting like the short little wedges that's going to be the curvy pack so just be aware when you buy this because i saw a lot of people on amazon were like this doesn't fit original at all but you got the curvy one okay there's so many more in here this one is one of my favorites that i passed it up last time i went on a giant haul but I got drawn back to it again, and I absolutely adore it, and I think I got this one for like four dollars, so yeah, four or five dollars is pretty good for these. Saw so this one, I thought it was really cute. I like peplum tops, and I love these skirts, and like you guys know me, I, I'm very girly frilly with my style, and these shoes have flowers as the heels. So cute. Love it. Had to do it. <laughs> It's so weird because I'm spending like as much on doll clothes as I would on like my own clothes. <laughs> hey, but I'm I'm probably done shopping for doll clothes at this point unless they come up with something like incredible. So I might never be done. <laughs> and I believe the rest of these are little single and accessory packs. So I got this peplum top because I love peplums. I got this beach pack, mostly for the camera and the headphones, because I have beats like this, and the camera would be for Mari, maybe the sunglasses as well, and I, I don't go to the beach, but I do go to Malibu. I don't like the beach, um, but yeah, I just I thought I'd grab this because the accessories are adorable. I got this distressed denim skirt because I love distressed denim even though it's kind of fake material I still like it and I got two of these accessory packs so I could have the two phones and I was probably going to repaint some of the accessories so I don't just have the same duplicated accessories over and over so I might also give Mari a watch, and I'm probably going to repaint the other watch for me, even though I don't really wear one. But yeah, so that's what I got. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, that's, this is a lot. So probably next week, I'm going to be doing the head swaps. Uh, or I might just film it right after this and upload it next week. I'm going to 
this rundown my schedule with you guys I am in the school musical so that's gonna leave my Monday nights and Wednesday nights um, unavailable to film stuff so I either have to film on Tuesdays and Thursdays and then edit and upload Friday or what I usually do is I'll film I'll edit as I film if it's gonna take multiple days so I just get that all out of the way and then I upload at some point on Friday. It's like as long as it's on a Friday, it should be fine. The last video took so freaking long to make that I just said screw it and I uploaded it on a Monday, not even thinking about it. So that's why I didn't upload last Friday because I had already uploaded a video that week. But I'm gonna try and stick to Fridays. So all of this is for Fridays. <laughs> So yeah, that's my big haul of everything I have. I'm gonna be hanging up stuff soon and I'm going to be um, getting a couple more fashion packs in the mail. So I will either, I'll show you guys those when they come in. They should be coming in by the end of the week, like Thursday to Monday, I think, or like Monday or Tuesday or something. So I will show you guys those once I get them. I'll probably include them like at the end of the um, at the head swap video next week because I'm going to also be dressing them next week. So hopefully that all works out and hopefully this video isn't getting too long. It's already 14 minutes without editing. Brilliant. All right. Um, TTFN, ta ta for now. I will see you guys next Friday from wherever I am. I don't know why I keep saying that because I'm always going to be at home. <laughs> Bye guys. Mwah!